Hey everyone, this is Adam, and today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically import Adobe Illustrator files directly into Figma using the Convertify plugin. So the first thing to do to get started is if you go to the resources icon at the top of your Figma file, click on that and then search for Convertify. So that's C-O-N-V-E-R-T-I-F-Y. And under the plugins tab, you'll see Convertify pop up. And to run it, all you need to do is either click on this run button here, or I'd recommend clicking on this little more options icon and clicking on the save Figma plugin item to automatically save that to your plugins list for later. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So I'm gonna right click on my Figma canvas. I'm gonna go down to plugins. Then I'm gonna go down to saved plugins and I'm just gonna click on the Convertify item. And that's just gonna run the plugin that we just saved a second ago. So once the plugin runs, you'll notice that there's a little drop down box here and by default it's set to export Figma to Sketch, but we're gonna change that today. So if we click on that and then scroll down to the import to Figma group and then go ahead and click on the import Adobe Illustrator to Figma item. And that's gonna change the context to automatically import Adobe Illustrator files into Figma by dropping a file into this little drop zone. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is just with this setting turned off, which is actually the default. So this setting is to import Adobe Illustrator artboards as vector layers. So I'll show you what this looks like in a moment, but to get started, I just wanted to show you what it looks like first by importing them as uh, JPEG layers or bitmap layers. So I'm gonna go to my folder on my desktop over here. I've just got a handful of Illustrator designs. So we're gonna try and import each of these into Figma automatically and see what it looks like using the plugin. So the first one we can try out is just this little bear illustration. So if I drag and drop this AI file, so Adobe Illustrator file into the plugin, so I'm just gonna drop it into this little drop zone. And that's basically gonna automatically import that in for me as an image. So remember, because we've got this little toggle turned off at the moment, this is actually getting imported as a bitmap. So you can see here, if I zoom in, uh, we've got a bunch of pixels here. So it's importing the Illustrator file and it's doing it as a bitmap. But as we know, uh, Illustrator files are vector. So we lose some of that sharpness by having it as a bitmap. Um, so that's okay. So what we can do is we can enable this beta option, uh, which is currently in beta, but we can turn it on anyway and use it. So we're gonna check the import artboards as vector layers option, and we're gonna drop that file in one more time. So I'm gonna drop in the bear.ai file again. And if we drop it into the plugin, this time uh, you can see it's done it a bit differently. So we've got, uh, instead of an image, we've actually got this group here. And if we open up that group, we can see that these are actually vectors. So if I zoom in now, you'll notice there's a very big difference between the JPEG and the SVG version. If we go back to the other page and zoom in, uh, you can see that the detail around the face is obviously much more pixelated, whereas the one that we just imported as a vector is much sharper. So we've got vector layers, uh, which means we can actually edit these. So that means we can do things like change colors. So if we wanted to change the color of this particular bear, to be purple uh, for some reason, we can do that. And uh, so we can do uh, change him to a different color and this is all editable. So we can actually edit the content uh, inside of Figma now. Uh, we can remove this background if we want. Um, I'll just find where that layer is. Oh, that's the frame. So we'll just hide the frame background and you can see there that we've basically got our vector from Illustrator. So I'll show you a few more files. We've got a couple of other ones to go through. Um, so there's another one, which is just this uh, flyer. So if, again, if we show what that looks like just as a bitmap, drop that in, that's gonna add it as a bitmap. And then we can do it again as a vector to see what the difference is. So I'm just gonna drop that in. And once this finishes importing, the vector import will take a little bit longer than the, uh, the other one. So that's just something to be mindful of, but it should import as well. So if we zoom in, you can see that this is quite sharp. Uh, the only downside to importing vectors that contain text is that the text actually gets imported as vector shapes as well. So unfortunately, these aren't actually editable text blocks. Uh, these are basically individual vector items. So you can see here, every letter is basically its own vector shape. So if you did wanna make this editable, you'd probably have to just go in and remove these layers and then add your own text layer on top of it. Um, but 
yeah, that's just something to flag if you're wondering why the text isn't actually a Figma text layer. The whole thing's just basically individual vectors. Um, and because this feature's still in beta, uh, this is a bit unoptimized at the moment. I think in a future version, it'll have less of these groups and things like that. Uh, but for now, that's what it looks like. Uh, so we'll keep going through. So we've got another one, which is just this travel template, uh, which is a bunch of templates for some sort of travel campaign. So we can drop that in, see what that looks like. And you can see here, this is the vector version. So it's quite sharp. And again, we can see what that looks like just as JPEG as well. Drop that in. And that's just the JPEG version as well. And finally, we've got this other animals illustration. So we can see what that looks like by dropping that in. So again, it's just a JPEG and we'll enable the vector option and drop that in one more time. And there we go, zoom in much sharper uh, as you can see. And these are obviously editable as well. So yeah, this is mostly gonna be better for things that don't require text, uh, just because text is gonna be broken down into uh, those individual vector layers. But for things like illustrations or things where you've got uh, mostly just paths rather than text layers or things like that, uh, this option is going to be a lot better to use the vector import for. So um, yeah, that's basically what it looks like. As I said, this feature to convert them into vector layers is still in beta, uh, but that should improve over time. Um, but as you can see, the quality of the imports actually quite good and you can edit these shapes and edit all of these uh, vector layers as you would expect. Uh, as if you were editing them in Illustrator. So yeah, uh, I just wanted to keep that really quick for today. We don't have to go into too much more detail. Uh, I think those four examples are enough to give you the idea of what the plugin can do uh, for importing Adobe Illustrator files into your Figma file. So yeah, we'll leave it there for today. And I hope that's been helpful. If you've been wondering how to get your Illustrator uh, files or vectors from Illustrator into Figma automatically. This is probably going to be the quickest way to do it. I know that you can also copy paste layers from Illustrator into Figma, but that may have uh, different results. So yeah, feel free to give this a try and hopefully it works with your uh, Adobe Illustrator to Figma workflow. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.